Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here in a special location in Los Angeles for an all new launch of a vehicle from that iconic Japanese brand. What do we have here? This is it. This is a 2025 Toyota Crown Signia. But before we get into this first ever crossover SUV to wear a crown, let's talk about what's going on here. Toyota is on a rampage. They're going through their lineup, making some very important redesigns, but also bringing all new models to their lineup. Now, it doesn't seem that long ago, but I remember when we did the unveil of that vehicle right over there, the Toyota Crown Sedan. And what's interesting is that the Crown name, even though it may sound new to a lot of people here in the United States, we're talking about almost 70 years of history with Toyota and the Crown. Now, what's fascinating is when they launched the Crown Sedan here in the United States and Japan, they actually had a lineup of different Crown vehicles. And now it's our turn to build with the crossovers that Toyota brings and have this luxury-esque crossover SUV get into their lineup. So what I wanna find out is if you're looking for a new luxury crossover SUV, and you're kind of done with what's currently available, but you want special touches, and of course, you want some fuel efficiency, let's go ahead, let's find out, is this the best new luxury crossover SUV to buy? Let's find out about this Crown Signia. Right off the bat, the shape. It's interesting how Toyota just keeps adding to their SUVs, but they are very, very unique, each and every one of them. Now at the front of the business, you're gonna notice a very special signature lighting effect that they have. Your LED daytime running lamps, and I love how paper thin they are up top. Working your way down, that's when you're gonna have your lower little pod here with your LED projector beam headlight. I love the way everything is kind of just nice and tidy and a lot of body color. And this color is really looks, looking spectacular, kind of really brings a nice luxury feel to it. Now, with that pod area with the headlight, you do have a little bit of gloss black that comes down into an actual splitter. So what you're gonna find is a lot of vehicles today, especially hybrid vehicles, are trying to become more and more efficient. Aerodynamics is one of those key parts, and I really love the way it looks so slippery sitting here, but you know that this is gonna have that right coefficient drag number. Now, as we come across the front, this is where I've talked about in many Toyota and Lexus reviews, it seems like the line between Toyota and, and Lexus is getting a little bit more blurry, and I could see the style on this Crown Signia. You'll notice the fully functional open air intakes up top, and then I love the way they did the grill in the actual body. It reminds me of the spindle body design that you're seeing on a lot of the new Lexus vehicles that we have been bringing to you. But with that being said, it definitely is unique to this particular vehicle from Toyota. But I love the way it's all body colored and then working your way down, you're gonna have more functionality on the bottom portion. And trust me, we're gonna pop the hood and let you know what the heck is powering this midsize crossover SUV. Now, as we rise up, you have that iconic Toyota badge, so many decades of reliability and people really putting trust into their transportation needs when it comes to this particular brand. Looking at it, it's like you see some of the style from maybe like the new Prius. You see, like I said, some of the Lexus vehicles, but up on the hood, check out the way that they did the actual aero and the body lines. Very, very sporty, but yet, also, like I said, very stylish and luxurious at the same time. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, how many trims are there gonna be? You're basically looking at two trims, XLE and then limited. This particular one is the limited trim. Now, as we come around the block here, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. So you're gonna have two different wheel options depending on what trim you go with. Of course, with the limited trim, you're getting this absolutely stunning. I love this bespoke design, 20 one inch wheel, metallic gunmetal design. Really love the way they put the nice accents in each of the spokes all the way around. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what kind of tire size are we looking at? 235 on the width, 
45 series sidewall, and then we're gonna talk about what the heck is powering this. Now, the great news is it comes standard with all-wheel drive. So that's a nice key feature, especially for those that live up north, especially with the winter months coming. You'll notice that we have the cohesive design of the gloss black around the fender openings. Of course, with this sitting on that TNGA global architecture platform, you're gonna get a nice rigid structure that's also gonna be very good at stopping the noise and vibration harshness from getting into the interior of the vehicle. But definitely wheel size, 21 inch wheel size on this Crown Signia limited trim. Now when we come down the side of the vehicle, you're gonna notice some gloss black just sprinkled up top on our mirror caps. You do have your LED turn signals from the side. It's interesting because you do have some nice length and wait until we talk about like some cargo capacity space in here once I take you inside. But what's nice about it, it's not really tall. I kind of like that and I'm gonna be very curious to see how six foot tall Joe Rady fits inside this Crown Signia. But you'll notice part of that luxury limited trim touch, you have some bright shiny metal work only along the bottom. And I like the way it comes into a nice check mark at the backside. They did almost like a floating roof style design with the gloss black trim in the rear pillar. And then notice the bright, almost aluminum style finish that you have to the roof rails, very, very low to the body. The good news about that is that that's gonna cut down on wind noise when you're driving down the road. But the better news is that you're still gonna have that ability to get crossbars to use this as a fully functional crossover SUV. It's not one of those ones where you're just gonna drive around a parking lot. You could actually get those crossbars and do th your cargo carrier, whatever you need to haul up top. Now you'll notice that you have color match on the door handles and I really like that touch. And then some gloss black along the bottom that matches perfectly with what's around the fender openings and at the front and at the rear of the vehicle. And I think one of the other nice touches is I really, really like this indentation that they put on the lower portion of the doors. Gives it some real substance from the side of the vehicle so it's not just flat sided. Working our way towards the rear, Lori's gonna slide on down with me and just show you the nice sculpted lines. I love the way it has a nice curve to it. It's not just a hard edge. And I think that's one of the reasons why this Crown Signia is really talking to me when we're looking at the style. Now, just like up front, really artistic design on the LED taillights. If you notice, we have this badge, HEV. What the heck is that? We're talking about a hybrid electric vehicle. So this is a hybrid vehicle. We'll talk more about what's underneath the hood. Love the way the lighting goes all the way across the back. Limited trim badging. And of course, the Toyota badge with our crown name spelled out. And I like the way they kind of made the crown name more prominent than the actual Toyota badge. And then working our way all the way down, just a super clean underside with your LED reverse lights nicely blended into that rear bumper area. And like I said, the gloss black being on the lower bumper, being on the front, really kind of ties everything in. I guess the one zonk I have is this guy right here. Rear wiper needs to be hidden underneath this nice long roof spoiler. You got a nice long roof spoiler, take this, put it underneath there and really clean up the rear end of the glass. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk about what the heck is powering this new Crown Signia. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Now it's time to talk about what is powering this Crown Signia. Now, the nice thing is I like the way they did a tasteful engine cover. And you're gonna notice that bright orange that all, always goes with some type of electric component. Now, remember Toyota, knows the business when it comes to electrifying vehicles. They've been do, doing that with the Prius for over 30 years. But what do we have underneath the hood? You're looking at a 2.5 liter inline four naturally aspirated engine paired to two electric motors to produce 243 horsepower. The great news is MPGs. Remember how I talked about efficiency and that aerodynamic shape? Even though this is a, a crossover SUV, you're looking at an estimated 36 MPGs combined. That's with the all-wheel drive. And remember that is an E all-wheel drive system. You could tow up to 2,700 pounds and it utilizes an E CVT. So nice to see them keep it simple. 
Instead of having different engine options, this is the way the vehicle comes, and then you have to decide whether you wanna go XLE or with this top trim, which is gonna be the limited trim. But while we go ahead, let's get into the interior because I have a feeling there's some pretty big things to show you in this new Crown Signia. All right, guys, we're inside this 2025 Toyota Crown Signia. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, so far the exterior on this vehicle looks amazing. I'm really excited for it, but how much is it? No word yet on pricing, but if you use a little bit of common sense, remember the top trim for the Crown Sedan was in that $55,000 range, I'm sure you're going to see similar numbers on what this Crown Signia is going to bring. Now, the good news is you will start to see these at dealers in the summer of 2024. So even though it's a 2025 model year, don't be like, Joe, you're five years in the future. No, this will be available next year, 2024, in the summertime as a 2025 model year vehicle. But Toyota's stressing that this is about luxury because of the crown name. Let's take a little tour and see if they're really putting their money where their mouth is. To the door panels. I love the two-tone style. So you're going to have soft touch material up top. Then you're going to have that nice, almost like a baseball glove, like a catcher's mitt glove, brown tan leather interior on the center section, a little bit of silver on the door handle there. And then really the only gloss black is around the switch gear for your windows and your locks. So I am going to zonk that because that's going to make some fingerprints. But the, like I said, that catcher mint brown is really working for me on the interior. Door pocket is a little tight. So maybe just one pack of Big League Chew and a nice large bottle of Surge to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, that two-tone style, love the leather. This is really, and this is like I was saying, they're blurring the lines between Lexus and Toyota. The copper trim, just like on the Crown Sedan here in this crossover, and you have an 11-speaker JBL sound system in this vehicle. Now, as you come on in, we got that 12.3-inch infotainment system, like the way it's integrated into the dash, it is sort of floating iPad, but at the same time, it's not because of the way it intersects with the uh, digital gauge cluster area over on the driver's side. But this is going to have all the great Toyota multimedia software that we have shown you where you can set up the profiles, all of that good stuff. It has over-the-air updates. I like the way they have the volume knob right in the center here with that bronze. You're going to have on the limited trim ventilated seats three stages three stages of heated seats heated steering wheel and dual climate control there's your power on button because this is a hybrid you do have a stand-up this is a stand-up phone charger wireless of course two usb c's and then you got a place for your jolly ranchers and a place for your tootsie rolls or you could just have two cup holders if you ate all your tootsie rolls then you have two cup holders this is going to control your ecbt like the way it's got that copper bronze finish to it. And then the leather. The leather's really, really wonderful. The one thing I really like that's smart about Toyota and Lexus is I could open this up this way to me, or I could also open it up your way. And here you could actually put, this is where you could put like your, uh, your little class ring that you got when you were in high school. You actually have enough room in here, I would say probably for four, maybe five Beanie Babies. And if you have peanut, you could cash in on that one. Better cash in now before the prices go down. And I'm, I'm not supposed to show you this, but here's the key fob, because I want to show you more than anybody else. I like the way it has that night. Ooh, look at that on the back. That's really wild. Nice touch, nice touch, Toyota. And there's a USB-C and a 12 volt in there. And then the seats, the leather, the piping, eight-way power adjustable for the passenger and for the driver. Love the way it's got the nice soft, leather material, fully perforated. Up top, you have a panoramic sunroof. And then really the cherry on top of this crown Sunday is you have a digital rear view mirror. Nice to have that function. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this new Crown Signia. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Now, you do have two memory seat settings for the Crown Signia. So the nice thing is if you have a friend 
you can let them borrow it and they can have their own setting. And if you don't have a friend yet, life isn't over. Go out and make some friends. And you have to do it in person, not just on Facebook. Not a Facebook friend, a real friend that you see on a regular basis. Down below, you'll notice that you have your crown sill plate. Nice little touch. I just wish it was lit up LED. I just think that would give it that extra something, something. You do have your eight-way adjustable seats. Easy to work that lower lumbar. I do like that. And then remember, I'm six feet tall, and even with the lower roof and there being panoramic glass, you are getting plenty of space in here. I actually feel very comfy and not like I feel snug, but not in a tight way. It's, it's interesting. It's, it's very comfy and spacious in here, but at the same time, you don't feel like you're just floating around like an astronaut uh, in space, which is kind of, you wouldn't want to feel that way. Steering wheel, love the leather. You do have a unique horn button for the crown, but I wish that they would put an actual little crown here. What about that? And some stitching. So I am going to zonk that, but I do like the flat black on the switch gear. You do have paddles to go up and down. And then of course you have your digital gauge cluster, 12.3 inch. Love the clear graphics, your charge, your whole nine yards. Remember this is a pre-production, so we will be bringing you more. The one thing that's bothering me, I should say, probably the third or fourth thing that's bothering me is there's no head up display. So I am gonna have to zonk that. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the back seat because if there's good space up here, let's check out the space for your passengers in the back. All right guys, back seat time and I'm telling you, I feel like I'm on the scent of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids because I feel shorter. There's actually more room in the back seat than there was in the front seat, especially headroom and that's with the panoramic glass roof. Really, really nice setup in here. You do have large, but look at these pockets. Easily get, I would say, six Le uh, Ego waffles, Lego My Ego. You do also have your AC vents, really nicely placed with two USB-Cs. And think about it. It makes sense to have space for Ego waffles because this is going to be that vehicle that maybe you use to go to prom. And you're in the back seat. You have enough room back here for your prom since you're a prom king and queen you got room for your crowns back here and everything else nicely laid out you do have heated seats pull this bad boy down mm, pretty soft and it's nice leather i see now here's the thing if i had a teenager for a son or a daughter and they were dating i would make them have this down all the time to separate them i don't want them playing handsies or grabsies or anything like that especially on prom night i don't that's not happening. Not happening on my watch. And then we talk about engineering under the hood. We talk about technology. Check out this engineering. When you fold down the seat, which I'll show you the seats fold down when we do the cargo area. What's kind of cool is, is that Toyota solved the problem of having all this empty room. Nice extender. So with this extended, you have six and a half feet of length of support for whatever you're getting. So you could go get that 90 inch OLED TV. Tell your significant other, Joe Rady from Rady's Rides approves it because of how they have this set up. And I really, really like, I mean, look at this. I'm putting some weight into it. Mm, mm. And it's, it's supporting it. Very, very nice. But you know what? The crown on your head is getting a little heavy. You want to take it off? Let's go into the cargo area and see how much space we have for the family jewels back there. All right, guys, cargo area time. Real nice. You're just going to hit the button actually right underneath the O. In crown, O stands for open. We hit that. You have a nice electric assist, super smooth. And here's some of the big pluses. Before we just dive in, I just want to point off, first of all, how low the bumper area is. That's going to be good for when you're picking up heavy things and trying to get it over into the cargo area. And then what's nice is, is you're going to get some really good usable space. You have a 60-40 split. And I think one of my favorite parts is we have these handles. Check it out. Pull that down, boom. You're looking at over six feet in length of cubic feet of space to get things in and out. You can go to Costco, you can get the huge big barrels of mayonnaise and mustard and ketchup for your Thanksgiving day picnic. And you could have that usability in this space. Of course, picking up the rear, you do have a little bit of storage space for those Twinkies that you need on those family trips, but nice to see the versatility, even with a hybrid, and that the fact that the floor is totally flat, that to me 
is really telling with this Crown Signium. Now, I know you want to see how it drives, and trust me, I want to show you how it drives as well. That will be coming in the next few months, but we need to get on to the next one here in LA. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's wrap it up. All right, guys, <laughs> this has been a very special moment. Nice to be out here with Toyota to bring you this all new, first time ever, a Crown version with a crossover SUV versatility. Definitely got to thank the whole Toyota team for having us here so that we could bring it to you. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Are you digging this midsize luxury crossover SUV with that iconic name? Like I said, almost 70 years in the history of making of this particular model. Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rage Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up. Lori Rady, working that camera like a champ. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.